In this video we're going to be looking over this Honeywell Pentax Spotmatic equipped with the 55mm f2 lens, prime lens, and I thought what we'd do is just start stepping down through the shutter speed. So I'm going to set it at 1 1,000th of a second, and it's already cocked, so let's watch that. And then 500th, 250th, one one hundred twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth. I'm going to stop this down a little bit so we can watch the blades in there. At one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth. One half, one full second, and the bulb setting where the shutter stays open, lens stays stopped down as long as I hold the button, and then the cycle completes. Set this back up at uh, 1 1 25th and fire the uh, self timer here. So the self timer works. Let's take the lens off here. It's a screw mount M42. And this is the Super Tacumar. This one does not communicate with the body, so you need to use stop down metering. And uh, let's see, first of all, let's look. The focus is nice and smooth. The aperture ring has nice clicks. And this has either the auto or the manual. And in manual, we can watch the aperture stop down. And if I switch this over to auto and stop it down and then push the little button in the back, nice and quick. So that's a good sign. And if I take a flashlight bright LED flashlight and look in through the back. I see some dust but I do not see any fungus in there. So uh, looks pretty good. There is definitely some internal dust though not, not a really high amount of it. So um, while we have the lens off the camera let's look inside the mirror box here. looks pretty good. The lens screws back in properly. And it has the Honeywell Pentax cap that fits. If we go around the back here now and pop the back open by lifting up on the film rewind crank. The crank is in good condition by the way. And uh, the shutter looks okay. Let's watch the film advance. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving over to the door. Uh, edges feel pretty dry and clean. Uh, I don't feel a lot of light seal material on there, so it's probably wouldn't have to do that right away. Uh, looks okay to me. That closes properly. Um, it's got a little bit of wear on the corners and things. Um, I notice these strap lugs are a little bent out of shape. Functional, but uh, not in the best of condition. And the strap itself, for some reason somebody put tape on the ends here of the rubber pad. I don't know exactly why that is, but it looks like it's been there a long time. And I'm going to leave that. Um, one thing I noticed that th this camera does not have a hot shoe. It's got this removable accessory cold shoe that just pulls off. 
and under that we can see there's a little bit of distress here from where that has been against it and I noticed the little rubber pad is not still glued in place so that seems to have uh, it's just glue it's let loose and I noticed that there's a little bit of uh, bending of these pieces on top here so it may require a little bit of work with some needle nose pliers to get that aligned just right um, one thing on the bottom here it's it's a, one of the things that happens to these spot matics sometimes is that the batteries leak in the compartment and it's almost impossible to turn the battery door this one I can show you is definitely in pretty good shape I can use a nickel the coin slot isn't all deformed it's it's been used but not not to badly deformed there's a battery in it the battery is dead but just to show that the uh, compartment is in good condition I always like to run it backwards a little bit till I hear that thread engage and then we can can uh, rotate it clockwise to run it in um, then the camera does come with the fitted case and so we just attach that here like this and then it folds up around the top like that looks like a little decorative cover is missing off this bottom piece here but it uh, otherwise it's all there